Hello, my name is Troy Hatch, and here we have Sim City, one released last year. Working in single player mode, which was not available last year. It just came out recently from uh, uh, Maxis in a recent patch, and it sort of took a bit of time for them to work it out, but they finally delivered. Uh, when this game first came out, it was uh, had a sort of forced multiplayer, which no one was really quite sure why they went with that path other than for possible DRM purposes, which didn't quite make much sense to me, but then there wasn't really much in other answers you could come up with for this. I, I had some thoughts that maybe they had some ideas of doing uh, releases for this one platform, so maybe they had a a phone and tablet version of this prepared to go along with the game, but then those fell through and we ended up getting what we have here now. Well, what we had last year, I should say. This is not what we, this is definitely not what we had last year. Excuse me. Um, but yeah, when this came out, I wasn't too happy with that. It's sort of, I had a hard time sort of going back to it because I didn't really want to be dealing with that stuff. The way I was playing was I had a game that I'd started myself that was password protected and then no one else was allowed to play in there. It was all pretty much me by myself playing single player, but with a requirement that I had to log on online in order to do that. Which made it hard for me to go back to it, but whenever I did go to the game, I did spend a fair bit of time playing it. Because it did have some great city building. I mean, look at this. This is probably the most illogical sort of road layout you can have. But it's... A, it's Shapes-wise and stuff, it's a fair bit natural to how roads can be laid out and stuff. This is this is something I rather liked in the new SimCity. Uh, it sort of had a better layout system to what our previous SimCity games had. Our previous SimCity games, yeah, laid out things to a grid and you had to place things within the grid. Nothing was really sort of aligned to the roads. You just pulled out squares between road sections and that. Yeah, everything's aligned to the roads. Roads are laid out however you want them. And it's sort of... I think it's a good way to be able to build your cities now in SimCity. Uh, it's very sort of unique to this new game. Um, the agent system, I'm not sure if they've fixed that up in this. I know with the uh, earlier versions of, of this game, there was found to be problems with where you could build a city without power, without the services, without... Uh, any little extras in that and people would still be happy I was, I think they fixed it up a bit now because I was playing a regular single player game before this is a sandbox game they've got going here and, uh, yeah my residences were happy for a while without the power and then they quite got upset and left <laughs> I ended up with a city full of abandoned buildings and it wasn't that great uh, it was just a couple of little houses and a few little businesses and I had to sort of bulldoze it all, all and give the give the city its resources in order to make everyone happy. Not that that was really my intention to sort of leave it that way, but it was interesting to see that happen after having heard that um, that people were able to do that and just yeah, just lay out a city and have everyone be happy with that. Uh, well, we got sort of a bit of upsetness with the oh, closed. So, right here, I'm guessing I need to put in a few more residential over. See, here's how you sort of build your town. I'll just. Oh, didn't like it there. Oh, didn't like it there either. What's it. Do? Oh. Let's see. So, we've got a bit of a click to system. There we go. There we go. We'll just. So as you can see, I'm sort of I'm able to lay out the road in this sort of weird curvature pattern. And then put in the residential and just line, line, it, line the road with all this residential as well. Oh. Uh, there we go. Well, 
And that's how you lay out your residential in this new game. Now if I want to improve the residential a bit here, rather than setting uh, dense or high density residential and that, what I can do is put in a little garden on the corner here. And that straight away impacts sort of the land value there. And you'll see we've got some larger houses coming in here and stuff. And so I probably put another one over there. Take out that house, unfortunately. But yeah, you see larger houses coming in as you put in more sort of gardens and increase the land value there. It's all rather interesting how this all sort of works here. The only problem might be that, yeah, the, so I think I was saying before, the, uh, the system agents, and hey, we've got some employees here now. The system agents may not be as intelligent as originally promoted. Uh, I think another problem people found was that the, the Sims that were supposed to go to their own houses and go to their own jobs and act like sort of natural people in the town I found in the early stage of the game to be going to whatever house was closest to their work and then from that house going to wherever work was closest to that house. <laughs> it was just sort of, sort of automatically going to whatever, wherever they could fit in sort of thing rather than going to set specific places. So, um, yeah, it was sort of interesting how, how clumsy that was. But... I still feel this is sort of an interesting game to look at. And now that we have the single players, this is definitely one for people to give a, a consideration or a second consideration of it. It's, it's fun to build these towns, uh, particularly in the sandbox mode, so some people might want more work in that. But yeah, it's a, it is now the appropriate in evolution of SimCity that it should have been earlier, I'd say. <laughs> you still, unfortunately, have the small build areas that you had in the multiplayer, because you're still working with the same region system that I had, and you're not getting sort of expanded regions or expanded build areas or whatever. I think it's still... Still a good uh, game to look at. Still a a good iteration of the series, even though it did have that stupid, stupid initial requirement of it being online. Um, yeah, so if you're someone who was interested in this game but wasn't too sure about the online requirements and that, give them another look now. Uh, Otherwise, maybe wait until Maxis comes out with another uh, release. This, so I imagine, I'd like to imagine now, after I have the experiences of this game, Maxis sort of knows what they need to do for the next uh, iteration, the next version of this, and uh, I'd be interested in seeing what that will be like. But for now, we got this, and now it's possible to play it the way it should have been played. I think that'll do it for this video now. So this is this is a bit of an experiment that I started to start doing, just sort of doing these videos uh, on YouTube. So sort of something I, I set as a goal for this year, and just so sort of, I just want to sort of see uh, how this goes and what people's reaction to this is. So if you've got some thoughts on this and uh, uh, of ideas of how things could be improved. I, I'm pretty sure there's a number of improvements that could be made here and there's still other ideas as to how uh, uh, I could probably put to, to put together videos for this. Um, uh, but if you have uh, something you want to say, leave a comment below. Try and be constructive. Uh, I have heard that it's probably a, a, a hard question to ask, but I have heard that YouTube comments can be a bit terrible. And, and leave a like and probably share the video around and uh, let's see how this goes. Thanks very much and goodbye.